folks out there, it's Olu Shola, ABC again in the studio. In today's lesson, I'll be talking about how you can bring the little you know that is the pentatonic scale into improvisation. How can you play pentatonic scale alone over to 5 1 progression? Before we proceed to the lesson, I would like you to subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button and put on the notification bell so as for you not to miss any video update. Come on, let's go to the class. Now here's the breakdown of the example I just played. The first chord was D minor seventh, the next chord was G dominant seventh, and the last chord was C major seventh. So over D minor seventh, I played the G pentatonic. That is, G, E, B, D, E, D, B, E, G. So how do how does that relate to D minor seventh? How does G Relates to D minor seventh. The G is the perfect fourth interval to D. So let's count D E F G. So is it easy for you to build a pentatonic scale on the perfect fourth? So this is how it works. You can be more creative with it instead of playing do re mi so la do mi re do playing the pentatonic like that. You can be more creative with it, especially in relationship to the chord that you played. Do re mi la so. So the so is the D note. Which belongs to our chord. You can see that it sits on the chord. Then the next progression is the G dominant seventh. So over G dominant seventh, we are playing the F pentatonic. Now let's treat G dominant seventh as the key center. Let's treat G, the note G, as the key center. That is, G is the one. Do re mi fa sol la ti do. So it's going to be G. A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. So the seventh degree, we are going to flatten it. It's going to become what? F instead of F sharp. So let's say we have Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Do, Do. It's going to be Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Do, Do. So the top, which is F, is what we are building our pentatonic on. So imagine you play Do, Re, Mi, Sol, La, Sol, Re, Re, Do, over G dominant seventh. So, in relationship to G dominant seventh, how is this going to sound? Do, re, mi, sol, la, sol, mi, re, do. So, in relationship to G dominant seventh, we have Do, re, mi, sol, la. So, you can see that it sits well on the chord progression. You can be more creative with it. So for the last chord is the C major seventh. And we're playing the G pentatonic over C major seventh. So do re mi so la. So the do re mi so la. The la is E, which is the third in the key of C. So you can see do mi do re mi do la la. You can see that it sits over the C major seventh. So in summary, what you play over D minor is G pentatonic do re mi sol la sol mi re do la sol. Then over over the G dominant seventh you play do re mi sol la. Then over C you play the G pentatonic. So here is the breakdown. The first chord is D minor ninth. The next chord is G dominant seventh sharp five flat nine. And then the last chord is C major ninth. So the first pentatonic comes from the C pentatonic. Which belongs to the minor ninth. Then B flat pentatonic. Pentatonic again. 
so how 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 do we arrange this pentatonic note so on the d minor ninth let's see pentatonic do i stopped on one of the notes that is the fifth in the key in the chord of d minor then i pick the pentatonic from so mi re do la so on b flat So it goes like this. So I, I rest on the seventh, on the on the dominant seventh on the G. Then I play the same B flat pentatonic scale, and I resolve on the mi so la do re mi. That mi is the ninth in the chord of C major ninth. Not all together. So here is a breakdown. The first chord I play was D minor seventh flat nine. So I try to build the pentatonic on the flat nine. That is the E flat. So the lick I played was Mi la so mi re mi do la, resting on the seventh degree, the minor seventh, which is the C. So the pentatonic is built on the E flat. Then I went to the G13th. So I built a pentatonic, I built a pentatonic on D minor. Play the minor pentatonic to So you can still be more creative with it. You can give a play. You can play a blue scale. It's gonna work. But here I just play the uh, D minor pentatonic. Resting on the 13th note. Then the last chord is C. Major 7 sharp 11. So I played the A minor pentatonic over it. So it has this kind of Lydian sound. Because of the sharp 11. So that's just it. Oh, that's the end of today's lesson. Hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. If you do enjoy this, please subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button. And do not forget to put on the notification bell so as for you not to miss any video update whenever I post a new video. And I'm telling you, this is going to be back to back. Help me share this with friends, comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. This is going to go a long way. Thank you. Enjoy your day and practice.